It's Call to the Bullpen, where the Cubs deliver the advice you never knew you needed until now. Let's go to the pen. David Bodie and Carl Edwards Jr. are waiting for your questions. Bullpen. Hey Cubs, I just found out that I'm going to be a father. I'm excited, but I'm freaking out. Any advice? Rule number one, it is by far the best thing in the world. Having a mini-me and watching them grow is like, you shouldn't freak out, you should look forward to just doing countless things with them. Congratulations, by the way. Um, both of us are fathers. I know what you mean by being a little nervous and you're never ready. I do remember like with my daughter, you know, we spent the full three days in the hospital and they said, all right, time to go home. And I said, already? Uh, <laughs> what? Like, we can't do this. But like you said, you know, like it's the best thing ever. You're gonna be able to do it. Teaches you something in life. It's a like, different kind yeah. of love. Yeah, oh, the love is off, off the charts. Proud of you, that's awesome. We're excited. Yeah. Bullpen. I was riding on my CTA train, and a guy started watching YouTube videos on his phone at full volume. He continued for 30 minutes. Should I say something next time, or am I being overly sensitive? That's a good question. <sighs> that one bugs me. In the morning, on the way to work. On the way to work. Would you say something? I have to because I'm about to go to work. I don't know how I'm going to walk into work. I don't know if I'm going to be jolly. Now, it, now, if he doesn't take it, the advice and he still does it, do you, I would put it in headphones. Yeah, I just throw me some headphones, listen to my own music, tell the guy, have a nice day. That's it. Go buy my business. How, how many speakers do we have on our team playing at once? I have a speaker. John Lester has, John a, Lester speaker. has a speaker. Pedro, Pedro has, a, has a speaker. There's three going on at one time. Within rows, what, like 10, 10. and 35? Yes. There's yeah. three speakers, full blast. Full blast. So you know what I do? Put it Headphones. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bullpen. Hey guys, I have a big crush on my friend, and our school's first dance is this month. How should I ask him to go? You gotta go overboard. You do? See, I was gonna say not. How would you approach? I would her? just go up and ask him. I mean, it also depends on like how the relationship is. You know, if you don't know him or like you hang out, you eat lunch together probably yeah. at the tables. And would you pop the question at lunch though? No, I would do it probably a little bit more special than that. Like not just like casually, but I don't know if I would go like the whole banner over the school building. Hey, Joe, will you go to the dance? I wouldn't go that far as a big banner, but I would say like find something that they're interested in okay maybe they like pokemon cards so how about you just make like this little board billboard thing and just write will you go to the dance with me so spell the words out with the pokemon card i like that so find the interest and then go off of that and then go off the interest i like that i think that's a good advice hey guys what would you say to a girl who was bullied and wanted someone to talk to? I was bullied uh, growing up in middle school and high school, and um, it's never fun. I think talking about it is, is a very good thing to do, you know, instead of bottling it and getting, you know, angry inside and then building it up. And doing something you regret. Exactly. You know, parents are good. You know, school counselors are good. You know, I would be careful with the friends a friend, I would say, but a really, really close friend that y'all have some secrets that have never close. been let out. Somebody you trust. That you really, really trust. Also, if you see that person bullying somebody else, like, you also go help them um, standing up to that bully. And then the bully, I guarantee he doesn't do anything because nine times out of ten, he's not athletic. He don't do nothing, so he, the only way he can become that guy is by bullying people. Bullpen. Hey guys, I need some fashion advice. I'm going to a wedding and I want to know how you feel about a gray suit and brown shoes. Does that work? Fashion? I, you are, you're the, he's the, he's a fashion guru. I am a fashion imposter. I like to look at, you know, Zoe, Pedro, guys who dress really nice. And I go, man, I really want to dress like that. And then I go, ah! basic. <laughs> Same. <laughs> because yeah. I get really nervous. Listen. The gray, the brown with the gray is where it'll work. 
You just have to make sure it's the faded brown top going into the darkness. You know, from light brown to dark brown, that is a great look. That's that's that's, that's top What would you do? What would you do on like the uh, the shirt underneath and tie? I would go with the blue with the nice brown and blue bow tie. There you go. And then you, tied, and you have a brown belt. And you got the brown. So then belt. you got brown, 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 brown. and then and the, the grays and the blue. And it blends. Sick. Yeah. I'm gonna Sorry try that. that. Hey y'all, those are great questions, and if you ever need any other advice, you know what to do. Make a call to the bullpen.